Hey there, and in this video, we're gonna keep it nice, short, and sweet, and talk about how to put a countdown timer on your checkout page using Thrivecart. So let's get into that right now. Okay, so once you're inside of your Thrivecart account, all you gotta do is go under any of the products that you might have created or you are about to create, and just go simply to the Edit button right there. And then you wanna go in this little top uh, tab section here and go to checkout. This is obviously after you've already filled out all of your information, you know, payment fulfillment, all that stuff. So this is under your checkout page. Um, so for this example, we're just gonna choose the tall one step uh, checkout, click that, and then we're gonna click customize. And you'll see on this kind of diagram graphic here, the shaded area on top says edit countdown timer. Super simple, we're gonna say tick this box, so pretty much yes to that. All right, so once we're in here, you can see we're gonna have a couple of options here. So on top, we have the specific date that we can actually select for when we want this countdown timer to end. So when it's on the top of the page, obviously the countdown timer will be counting down, and then you have the option to select which date that is, uh, where you want it to basically zero out, and then it will, you basically have a couple options here which are pretty cool is you can actually just display a message once that countdown timer reaches zero. So that message could be, you know, you can kind of um, basically shout out, maybe say this offer is closed or maybe the price is now raised uh, because you've lost out on time, something to that effect. Obviously the offer would still be available because the page doesn't change. It's just gonna be a notification bar on the top. Uh, but make sure that before you uh, fill that out, there's actually this box here. So this is just a little message that goes next to the timer, uh, basically stating what's happening. So you say something like, you know, special offer ends in, you know, and then basically it'll be counting down uh, within the countdown timer. So you could do it that way where you basically replace with a message. And again, you can, you know, you can always select your background color here, just kind of calls, calls it out, makes it a little bit more obvious. But the second option is that you can have it actually redirect to a page after that date has basically arrived. So on November 10th and later, if someone were to land on that checkout page, it would redirect those folks to a different page. So maybe you have an opt-in page because the offer closed or uh, maybe it directs to a different product because that one's all sold out or it's just not offered anymore, something to that effect. That's what would happen there. So those are the kind of the options you have for that. And then there's this other option. So uh, this is on that first drop down. You can either select a date or you can select a period of time after that specific person lands on that offer page or that checkout page. So this is actually really cool because this makes it a lot more evergreen now. So it puts scarcity on that individual rather than on everyone at the same time. Now, if someone were to land on that checkout page at any time, you can then say, okay, how long do we want this countdown to be? And you can you can see that this basically kind of tells you a little bit. So this is the amount of days, you have hours and then uh, minutes. And then you still have that option. Uh, you actually have an e a separate one where you can actually <laughs> reset the countdown. So it's kind of an evergreen, it just keeps going. Um, or you can do the redirect uh, page option that we talked about or replace it with a message. So. Those are the options for setting up countdown timers on top of the page. They're super cool. Um, I'm just gonna do this super fast for you here. And uh, let's just click, make it red, click save. And then I just wanna show you what it looks like on top. And it's gonna look just like this. So you can see this red box on top will not be there on your checkout page, but this is the countdown timer. You can see it integrates perfectly into the checkout form itself. So obviously this message is, is bad, it's nothing. I was just typing with one hand. <laughs> but um, you could say whatever you want there and then you have that countdown timer to the right hand side. And you could see this started for the second I landed on this page. So it'd be you know six days, 23 hours, 59 seconds, 30 seconds later. Uh, minutes and seconds later, you know, this will then redirect, I believe it ha I have it set, uh, to go to a different URL. So that's the power of this checkout page. It's another layer of scarcity. It works, it's gonna increase your conversions, and it looks beautiful and super easy. So that's all right now. So go grab Thrivecart. If you don't have it already, go to getthrivecart.com. You get a bunch of bonuses, some specials, and the best price. 
if you use that link at getthrivecart.com. And always ask us any questions if you have any in the comments below or uh, shoot us a message on that blog. Um, you'll see it at getthrivecart.com. Make it super simple and we'll answer all those questions for you. All right, hope to see you in there. Take care.